Hi, I'm Cher Pendarvis, artist and author of the Painter Wow books and the Artist Tablet books. In this video, painting your first photo, we will use cloning and the auto painting panels. On screen, we have Barn in Brittany, France, which I painted using the Sargent Bristle Cloner over a photo that I made in France. To open the photo painting panels, choose Window, Auto Painting Pan. To begin, I opened my photo, and you see my original photo here. I'm going to make a copy of my photo by choosing File, Clone. And if you look in the panel right here, the Clone Source panel, you see my source is Embedded Image. And here is the name of my original photo, Katie Chateau, Brittany, 2000. Directly below, we have the auto painting panels, under painting, auto painting, and restoration. All of these panels reside in the photo art palette drawer. To begin painting on my image, I'm going to work on the under painting first using the under painting panel controls. Now there's several controls here, color scheme, and you see some choices, photo enhance, and we have some choices here. I'm not going to use these right now because I like the contrast and the color that I have in my photo, and I love the tree that's lit up by the sunlight. What I am going to do is adjust the smart blur that you see right here. I'm going to give it a smart blur of between 30 and 40 because I want to soften the photographic detail in the image. Now it's starting to look a little bit like a watercolor. So to apply under painting, I'm going to click right here and I'm going to save my file, barn, up for under painting and click save. Now I'm going to make a clone of my underpainted file and next we're going to move into auto painting the file. A shortcut to take us to the cloning brushes is to click on the cloner tool here in the toolbox and you see I'd recently used the Sargent Bristle Cloner so it comes up because Painter remembers the last cloning brush that I used. As you see the cloners category is chosen and the Sargent Bristle Cloner is chosen. Now that I have the brush I'm going to make sure that I restore my default variant here, Sergeant Bristle Cloner. And if we look over at the color wheel, we'll see that clone color is enabled for this brush. Here we are in the auto painting panel. Smart stroke painting is useful for a lot of different painting effects, but I'm not going to use that choice right now. I'm going to use pressure modulate for my stroke and I'm going to leave the settings at their defaults. And we have a 20.4 pixel brush and we're going to use auto painting pressure modulate to paint over the image. As you see, we've obliterated all of the photo imagery and we're going to bring some back. We're going to use a smaller version of the brush, about a 12, and we're going to play again. And now I'm going to reduce the lengths of the stroke. Choose a smaller brush. I wanted to review two controls on the auto painting panel. Press the play button to play and press the stop button to stop. You can also stop the auto painting by clicking directly on the image. So I let the auto painting run for a bit. I stop it again. I reduce the length and the rotation and also the randomness. I'm liking the effect right now. Next, we'll save our file and we'll do some restoration. Click on the restoration and we have a soft edge cloner brush and a hard edge cloner brush. I'm going to choose the soft edge cloner brush and grab my stylus and I'm going to go along the edge of the roof here and as you see it's pulling from my underpainting and restore some of the shape of the windows here, the little gables archway in the wood pile and a little bit more detail on my beautiful tree that's lit by the sunlight. 
a little bit on these trees up here. And I'm not going to paint over all of the grass, but just this grass that's in the foreground, just restore a little detail there. To finish, I used the Sargent Bristle Cloner without clone color. I unchecked clone color and I press the Alt key PC option on the Mac to select some color from my image and then I'm going to blue that down just a little bit. And then I applied some more strokes to the sky, freshest hand painted look up in here because I am hand painting and I gave more interest to the sky, you know, like so. And then I sampled some color from the tree and I added a few more strokes to my tree. There's a lot more to explore with photo painting and we'll touch on some of these in future videos. Enjoy Painter and happy painting! Thank you.